speaking of math, not only can JavaScript do multiplication, addition, stuff like that, it can also do comparisons. So let's say that we want to know if 3 is greater than 4. JavaScript will tell us that no, it's false, it's not. Now if we do is 4 greater than 3, it's true. 4 is greater than 3. Now we can do this with variables as well. So we could say like number 1 is 3 and number 2 is 20 <laughs> and uh, is number 1 greater than number 2. And the answer is, of course, no. It's false. Now, with how intelligent computers are, maybe they can solve some of life's greatest mysteries for us. Like, is a cat greater than a dog? And JavaScript says no. A cat is not greater than a dog. Sorry, cat lovers. Now, if one cat is not as good as one dog, then two dogs must be, like, amazing, right? So if we do two dogs is greater than a cat, that's also false. So that's a little confusing, right? If one dog is greater than one cat, then how come two dogs can't be greater than one cat as well? What if we do pancake greater than waffle? Another very important question in our daily lives. Uh, and that's also false. A pancake is not greater than a waffle. Waffle wins, and I, of, of course I knew that already because waffles are amazing. But once again, what if we try doing is one pancake then less than two waffles? And that's also false. So there's something going on here. There's something else going on. It's not just pancake and waffle. There's, there's something else. Because if one pancake is not as good as one waffle... And there's no way that one pancake is greater than two waffles. That just doesn't make sense. So there's something else going on here. And uh, the question is, can you figure it out? So a little clue here. Of course, greater and less than are mathematical comparisons. And we're using strings here. So we're not using mathematical numbers. We're using strings. And keep in mind that when we tell a computer that we're using the string cat, it doesn't imagine a cute, fluffy little critter. It imagines the letter C, and then the letter A, and then the letter T. And that's all it imagines. In fact, if we say is cat equal to capital letter cat, well, it didn't like that at all, did it? <laughs> so when we do one equals sign, we are assigning a value. So I tried to tell it that the string cat is equal to is going to become the value of string cat with a capital C and it didn't like that. What I meant to do was I meant to do double equal sign which will then ask it is this like the other essentially and that's false. However if we do cat equals equals cat that's true. So once again it's not imagining a cute little fluffy critter it's just imagining lowercase c, lowercase a, lowercase t, and then for the second string there, capital C, lowercase a, lowercase t. So obviously those two are not the same because one is a capital C and one is a lowercase c. So it's very literal and it doesn't understand the symbology. It doesn't understand the symbol, the object that that word is supposed to represent. So when we ask it, is a cat greater than a dog, or is a dog greater than a cat, it doesn't imagine two cute fluffy animals. It's just looking at those characters. And so that might help you understand what's going on with that.